Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to look at arrangement view automation. So we've seen how it works in session view and it works in very much the same way in arrangement view. So it's going to allow us to automate or move all of our parameters in the arrangement window. And when we take things over from session view over here where we have our automation, as we can see, when we take this over, this is stored in the clips. And when we move it over to arrangement view, as you can imagine, it's still stored in these clips here. And not only do we take the session view automation and modulation over, but also if we record anything in uh, into the arrangement, it's also going to record that automation as well, whether that's by using the mouse or by using a MIDI controller. So to access the automation, we just press this A button here and it shows or hides the automation lanes. So this is uh, new in Ableton Live 10 where we get a bit more control over how it's displayed and we can use some shortcuts to show or hide it and keep things nice and neat. So you can see we've got our session view automation here. And if we wanted to write even more automation, we could very easily do that as well. So I'm just gonna hide this for now. There's a few ways that we can show or hide the automation. We can either do it with this button or we can press the A button, which is the shortcut for automation. When we've got this open, then there's a few ways we can actually display the automation. We can either choose here from the device drop down in the mixer, and you can see that the clip view's gone a transparent color to indicate we're in automation mode. So we can either choose it from here, we can choose in the first drop down what the instrument is or the area that we want to automate. So we'll go for the mixer and you can see we've got our reverb here or we could see our delay and we can have a look at the automation that we've drawn and we can edit it straight from here. And we can do this for multiple tracks as well at the same time. But say we want to have a look at more automation than just this one at a time and edit it all at the same time. We can do that just by pressing this plus icon and it's gonna pop out here into a new lane. So this is a new automation lane. And then we can choose another automation lane here. So we can view them on top of each other and we can even pop this one out. And likewise, we can pop out as many as we want. And then once we've got these popped out, we can resize them here. We can collapse or show all of them, or we can get rid of a few of them. And we can also show or hide every automated envelope for this particular track just by clicking this button here. And it's going to show all of them. We can collapse them all again. And we can also clear all of the envelopes as well, which is going to wipe the automation. I'm just going to command Z to get that back. If we click on our devices. We can also do this by right clicking show automation. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to get rid of all of these. We're going to turn automation mode off and all I have to do is right click show automation and we see it displays or right click and here we've got the chain volume show automation in new lane. And we see it opens in a new lane and we can also click show modulation which is going to show the modulation here in clip view. So notice you can't get the automation as a uh, in the clip here, you can only get modulation in the clip view and that's because you work with automation up here now in arrangement view. So the final way that you can display automation is simply by wiggling the control that you want to automate. And you don't have to have any buttons turned on for this, you just have to simply wiggle it and it moves whether it's automated or not. Obviously if it is automated, you are gonna have to re-enable the automation, but you can just give this a wiggle and it's going to display and then we can go and draw automation in just by drawing some nodes and we get a percentage or a parameter value where the node is and you can also see how the node is going to act depending on the highlighted area there in blue so now looking at actually editing automation you don't actually have to have a lane so you can see here i'm working just within the actual track here so we don't have to pop it open into its own lane if we don't want to uh, if we just right click and add lane for each parameter, we can take selections of the automation. We can copy it with command and C, paste it with command and V, and we can even paste it onto completely different 
automation lanes, or if we really wanted to, we could even go and paste it onto completely different tracks. So I could open up automation here for the compressor, compressor's ratio, and I could paste this in if I really wanted to. So we can copy automation like this. If I right click, we can use the standard controls of cut, copy, paste, duplicate, and delete. And something to be aware of is that when you are working with automation, you can copy and paste automation in this top bit here quite easily. So if I just copy this and we'll select chord up here, I can paste that in and that's fine. But this is because we're in automation mode. If I was to press A, and I was to do that, or use the duplicate command, I'm duplicating the MIDI or the underlying audio, not the automation. So make sure you have pressed A and you are actually working in automation mode. So let's open one of these up a bit further so we can see it properly. So we can select an area, and you see with the highlights, we can move this up and down, we can move it left and right, and it's going to snap to the grid. We can constrain this to a particular axis, up or down or left or right, by pressing shift. And now it only goes up or down. And if we press shift while we're moving it left and right, it only goes left and right. If we press command, it's now not constrained to any grid or anything whatsoever. So we can move it wherever we want. And we can also move just one node, or we can move a bunch of nodes. And then we can also add curves using the Alt command. And we can also select it and delete it as well. To overwrite automation, we just simply grab a node in front of it and drag it through. So this is great for smoothing out manual automation. And we can also do that the other way as well. And when we record automation in, in the arrangement view, all we have to do to do this, whether we're doing that by the mouse or we're doing it by a MIDI controller. So what we'll do is we'll do it for both. We'll do it for a mouse and a MIDI controller. So I'm going to automate this with the mouse and we'll automate this with the MIDI controller. So I'll press Command and M. We'll map this. This here. So I've got control of this now and I can move this with the mouse. All we have to do is we have to make sure that automation is enabled. And then we want to make sure that there's no record arm for the tracks, because what that will do is that will overwrite the MIDI and the audio underneath if there is any. So all we have to do is hit arrangement record. And now I can wiggle this and it's recording automation. I can wiggle my MIDI controller. And that is recording the automation in. We can then get rid of that with command and Z. And remember, if I am recording and we're controlling that automation, if I want to carry on playback, all I have to do is hit stop recording and it will stop. And notice that it's now stopped. And if I want to continue, just press it again and I can continue. But if I start pushing this whilst we're trying to play the track back, then what it's going to do is it's going to have to re-enable the automation. So that's just something you should know about. And I noticed there when we're playing this back, we've got a mistake here. We've still got the kick, which was time stretch. I'm just going to recompress that so it's back in time. And now what we're going to do is just add some automation of our own just so you can see it in practice. So we've got this section here where we want to fade it out. And I'm going to fade this out using a auto filter device. So we're going to add a device here, drag the auto filter onto the master track. I'm going to do this over the entire track. Open our filter, right click, show automation. So we can now see the automation here. And I'm just going to draw in some nodes. So we'll go from here all the way to the top, all the way down to about 200 hertz. And we'll see how that sounds. And we can adjust this resonance because we're not recording. But if I wanted to record this, Then all I have to do is play there again, but with these enabled. And remember, we don't want the track enabled for any of these because it will overwrite the 
tracks, content. Click to view, re-enable it. You can also right click to view it as well, so you don't have to re-enable. And let's say that we like this automation, but actually we're not going to do it on the master. We want to do it on the drums. So instead of actually going and copying and pasting this automation, I can just pick up this device and drop it on the kick. And then we can pick it up and we can hold the alt key and we can copy it and drop it on the loop. And now if we have a look at this, show automation in new lane, or we could even add lane for each automated envelope, we can see that automation is there. And it's now no longer on the master. So it's actually copied the device and the device's automation. We also have the lock automation button, and this allows us to freely move clips around. And we've now locked all of our automation to the timeline. So if I just press S, which is going to collapse down my tracks, open them again, tidy these up a bit. So we've now locked this automation. So if I now move any clips around, We'll go for we'll go for our chord actually because it's going to be a bit more obvious. So I'm going to just show you the automation here. We've locked the automation, so I can now move this clip around, and we could create a alternate version of this clip. And it's still going to play the same automation. So that was linked and unlinked automation where we can essentially pin the automation to the timeline. And now let's have a look at what else we can automate, such as the master tracks BPM or time signature. So we'll go to the master, go to the mixer, and we'll go to tempo. Or we could even modulate the groove or automate the groove if we wanted to. If you can't find this, then all you have to do is right click, show automation in new lane or show automation. And what we'll do is we'll do this for this section here, this quiet part. So I'm just going to draw in the automation, add a curve, and now we're free to listen to that automation. So let's press play. So that's the end of this video where we've looked at automation in arrangement view and in the next and the final video we're going to have a look at exporting your project to audio.